So I'm hoping you're still with me and that you enjoyed the practice part, trying out the different marks and seeing what's possible, hopefully made a few mistakes, things like that. Uh, and now we're going to embark on creating a print plate, which you're going to use to print in part two. So as a beginner's class, just a few points before we start, as a beginner's class, this is just a one colour print. Um, of course, you can do multiple colours in, in Lino print. That's going to be for more advanced classes, further classes, not for today. We're just going to do a one colour print and hopefully some examples I'm going to show you now will explain to you a little bit why it's not as straightforward to do more than one colour in a print plate. Um, generally, in printing, one print plate is one colour. So if you want to introduce more than one colour, you would then ha have to cut a secondary print plate. So that's not what we're doing today, we're just cutting one print plate. And this will be a good example of how you can you can be creative um, this is just one of my designs that I sell online in at Crafts and Art Fairs. Just an Easter rabbit. So you can be completely creative with, with just, just the colours that, that you mix. Hoping you can see how it's got a direction. So when you print, obviously it prints the reverse. This is just a different design that I cut into the back, making use of the lino. This one obviously doesn't have any direction. You can print it any, like 360 degrees, any direction. This one has got a top and a bottom so you wouldn't want to print it upside down but in terms of left or right it didn't matter to me whether he was facing to the right or facing to the left whereas something else to, to confuse you a little bit more something else to think about well, it's not for today but just for general information if you've got text obviously when you're cutting it it would need to be the reverse of the text but I'll go on to explain a bit more about that later how you, how you get around that for, for this it didn't it didn't matter how it turned out left or right for lots of your prints it won't matter and for the one that we're going to be I'm doing the demonstration with today it also doesn't matter Christmas and hopefully you can see the range of how colour can really bring out the, the difference in in the design you know, you're not you're not just just because you you've only got a one color print. It's only the beginning of the creativity, really. Um, I thought this design was quite a good one. I, I'd mentioned earlier about some can be quite faded and a bit a bit like an old photograph or like it's been printed on cloth and have little imperfections in it, <clears throat> which is a beautiful. It's a look in itself, and it obviously is completely handmade. Um, but then some of them can be more consistent and more even. Um, you know, in a different colour, you've got a completely different look, and they're just they're nice together as a collection too. So, hopefully, hopefully that shows that point. What I was saying about one colour versus multiple colour. This is a print plate that I've cut. It's probably taken, I don't know, the best part of a day actually to cut that. Maybe less with the design, and I don't know, something like that. Um, but yeah, one colour print here, very nice, lovely one colour print. But then when you start to introduce other print plates. And for these, I've just cut some solid colours. I'll just show you the variations of this design. And I started to... I wanted them slightly different shapes, slightly different quirky um, sizes and shapes. And I've just, to start off, I'll have printed the, back, the background, this um, back colour. Sometimes all the same colour, sometimes different colours, like a dark grey, turquoise and a silvery and then I've over printed with this design later on and this one like the um, the one that's on the reverse of the rabbit this has no direction either I mean it's nice to see it this way but it could have easily been printed this way this way this way that way anyway I could have stamped it as a tablet over over fabric and had you know a, more of an overall coverage rather than a, a composition as it is so yeah as you can see, endless possibilities, but the point I'm making with these examples is that the print plate is only the start of the creativity. It's what you do with the colours, the inks, um, and then add in other print plates, maybe underlayering, overlayering afterwards. But for today, we're just going to do um, one print, one colour print.